Hey guys, Ivan's going to go back again with some more WWE 2K16 news and IGN has officially uh, released the article and it announces all the superstars. So I already went an in-depth video with all the screenshots. There were nine screenshots that were released uh, a few hours before this and I made a whole video already talking about those nine screenshots. So just I'll link it in the video down below or at the end of the video you can click the outro and it will show you that previous video uh, describing all the nine screenshots. But now we have 19 more superstars confirmed for WWE 2K16. Yes, 19. Usually IGN has 12 superstars confirmed and like an entrance or a gameplay but now there's no game no more gameplay no entrances but we do have 19 more confirmed superstars so yeah it's debatable but I'll take 19 superstars over an entrance I know a lot of people won't but I definitely will so let's just get straight into the 19 people confirmed for WW2K16 and it also confirms their renders for 2K16 Straighting off, starting off we have Adam Rose who looks very different he's got like black attire um, this doesn't seem like, in 2K15 he had his party attire, you know, his Adam Rose party animal person guy, and it was like all bright and colourful, but this is all black and what, and like all black and dark and stuff, and obviously this is his heel attire, but I mean, this doesn't go well with his current, um, party attire, you know, he's supposed to be a massive party guy. We have Bo Dallas with his cheeky smile, I mean, it's Bo Dallas. Nothing too crazy about this. Um, it's just got his default attire. It probably says Bo Leave on the back of his trunks. You know, it's just cheeky old Bo Dallas. Next, we have Brie Bella, who has a Brie mode attire. It's got the, um, you know, the, what she's wearing now. Pretty much exactly how she wears it. You know, her bra and, and, and her, her little pants with all the cut sleeves and the actual, like, lumberjack, uh, the flannel shirt connected to the back. This is how she wears it in real life, so it's good that she has a current attire. Next, we have the Beast Brock Lesnar, and he's got his good attire, he's got his black attire in 2K15. He had the half red, half black attire, but now, and that was outdated at the time, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that was pretty outdated. But now we have Brock Lesnar's current attire, which is just the black shorts, and obviously he's not going to have any of the logos because those are all copyrighted, but it's just going to be uh, standard black shorts, which is good. It doesn't say Lesnar on his gloves, though, which is weird because in real life it says Lesnar on his gloves. I don't know why that. They couldn't add that because that's not copyright or anything. But yeah, Brock Lesnar has his black uh, black trunks, which is awesome. Next up, Gold Dust, which uh, is pretty different to his 2K15 one. This one's more black with a hint of gold. In 2K15, it was gold with a hint of black. Same with his uh, face, with his actual face paint. It's black with a hint of gold. So that's pretty cool. It's more of a heel look, but I really like it. Um, gold Dust was like one of the best looking people in 2K15. And in 2K16, I'm assuming he's going to be one of the best looking as well. I want to see how detailed his suit's going to be. Because look at this render. It's got all the creases in the suit. I hope in 2K16 it has all the creases in the suit as well and stuff. So yeah, uh, Gold Dust has his black with a hint of gold attire. Next up, uh, Heath Slater. He's in the game. Last year, he wasn't actually in the game. In 2K15, Heath Slater was absent, which is really weird. Because in 2K15, 3 and B were in the game. But now, uh, uh, Heath Slater's not in the game. But he is in the game this year, which is really good. Uh, it's got his new attire. It's got his uh, uh, new hair, which is actually you know shorter on the sides and the longer and the longer down the back, like how it is now, which is really good. It's got his uh, current attire. I don't know what Heath Slater's current attire is. He's never on TV. But yeah, Heath Slater's pretty current look, which is in the game, which is awesome. Hideo Tommy is now in the game. Awesome, um, Hideo Tami, I love this guy, obviously everyone loves him, he's got his, like, uh, yellow trunks, which is awesome how he wears it in real life, and, like, in New Japan as well, but in his entrance, we already saw he doesn't actually have his long yellow jacket, which really sucks, because, you know, in his entrance, I would really, I would have really liked his yellow jacket, but that's not in the game, but yeah, uh, hits, uh, Hideo Tami has his yellow tire, which is awesome, Hideo Tami looks sick, next up, we the people, Jack Swagger is actually in the game, which is awesome. He was in it too uh, last year, and he's gonna making a return this year as well. Um, he's got his black with the blue stripes. Um, his attire. He's got his good old We the People pose. Looks really good, Jack Swagger. I mean, not not much to say. He was. It's probably gonna be pretty much the similar similar than how he looked to, uh, last year. Next, we have Kevin Owens in the game as well, which is awesome. 
Kevin Owens, like he's going to be in the game. We already saw the screenshots of him as well. And this is where it gets interesting because here you can see uh, Kevin Owens renders actually his current attire. This is what he's wearing like right now on TV. But you saw the screenshot before. And in the screenshot, he actually didn't have his current attire. In the screenshot, he had his D, like, debut attire, which is, like, the, you know, the KO. But it was, like, it's more of, like, a street, like, graffitied on. But yeah, this, he had, in his render, he's, he has his current attire. and his uh, screenshots, we saw he has his old attire, which means maybe Kevin Owens probably has two attires, probably his old attire and his current attire, which is awesome. So hopefully, if they can have, like, multiple attires for, like, every superstar, that's awesome. Because I know in 2K15... If you weren't in a showcase mode, you don't have a special attire. Hopefully, people that aren't in showcase modes actually get the uh, second attires. Speaking of second attires, here comes the man that Gravity forgot, Neville, who now has his purple attire. And it's awesome. Hopefully, um, hopefully he comes out in his cape in his entrance because, you know, that's how it is now. And, and yeah, but Neville has his purple attire. Last year, he, he had his yellow attire. But, yeah, Neville's uh, keeping up. He's updated, which is awesome. Next up, we have the Divas Champion, Nikki Bella, and this is like all pink, and she's got pink lipstick, a pink hat, and it's like a whitish uh, pink, which looks really good. It's got her, I know this is pretty much like, look at the fabric on her bra and stuff, that's the fabric is how, how it is in real life right now, except it's red, not pink. But yeah, uh, Nikki Bella has this pink attire, which looks pretty cool. I like this pink attire. Hopefully, she it also comes with her red, because that's what she's wearing like right now. Next up, whoa! Ric Flair is in the game. Awesome. Ric Flair, hopefully in 2K16, he actually comes out in his entrance in his robe. Because I know in 2K15, he didn't even come out in his robe. Just like Stone Cold didn't come out in his vest. Hopefully, Ric Flair comes out in his robe this year. But yeah, uh... Ric Flair's in the game, awesome 2K16, I'm pretty sure this uh, this render looks pretty much exactly the same as his 2K15 render, I'm not too sure, but I, I think this render is exactly the same as his 2K15 render, but yeah, whatever, Ric Flair, the 16 time world champ. Next up, Sami Zayn. Awesome, Sami Zayn is in this uh, in this in game. He was in it last year, so it's awesome that he's back. Um, he's got his current attire with the C, uh, S and the Z on his pants. Hopefully, he'll come out with his uh, uh gray, not gray. You know, his T-shirt. Uh, it's a brown T-shirt, and you know, I think it's the Zaniac's T-shirt. Hopefully, he comes out in that. But yeah, Sami Zayn's got his current attire. It looks awesome, Sami Zayn. Look, his render looks really awesome, and hopefully he'll actually look awesome in the game. Roman Reigns now, this is his shield attire, which is weird, because we saw the screenshot with his current attire, and his current uh, current attire is, you know, it's got the big RR logo on his chest, but this is his old shield attire, so maybe um, it's confirming that maybe uh, Dean, Seth, and Roman will actually have shield attires and current attires, but yeah, which is, that's weird, because... Uh, some people have old old attires, like Roman Reigns here has his old attire, but then Kevin Owens has his new attire on his render. So it's uh, 2K is really changing it, like making it really weird, because you know some people have old attires in their renders, and some people have new attires in their renders. So yeah, I'm assuming there's going to be multiple multiple costumes for Roman Reigns, a shield and a regular. Because look in this render, he's got the shield attire. Next we got Stardust. Uh, you know, we already saw two screenshots of him already, went in depth, which looks awesome, and yeah, um, in my, his, in my in-depth screenshot, I said his head looks too short, it's really weird, and now I can see, I'm pretty sure his hair is like the same, I'm not too sure, but in my screenshot, I said Star, Stardust hair is too short, and look here, um, his render, I mean, it looks pretty much the same, so I was, I think I was wrong, so yeah, sorry about that, but yeah, Stardust in the game looks awesome, next up, we have Sting, and this is like more the WCW Sting. It's got no red on his on him at all. But we know like the current Sting is it's got red lines on his face paint. It's got his red like jacket and it's got his red shirt. But yeah, in this render, it doesn't have the red. So yeah, like again, this is really weird how his render is his old render, but in his in 
2K16, we saw the screenshot. It's his WrestleMania 31 attire, and this isn't his WrestleMania 31 attire. But yeah, Sting confirmed again, which is awesome. Next up, we have Prince Pretty himself, Tyler Breeze. And we already saw Tyler Breeze. Um, a lot of people were saying Tyler Breeze just looks exactly the way the cause did for Tyler Breeze. But the creator, creator wrestlers in 2K15 for Tyler Breeze were like terrible. I didn't download them because they're all really bad. But yeah, Tyler Breeze now looks awesome. He's got, we saw his entrance. He's got his selfie stick. He's got his fur in his boots and he's got his uh, fur jacket. Tyler Breeze, we know what to expect from him. And 2K16 is delivering with all the ty uh, current Tyler Breeze. Next up, we have the ultimate warrior. Um, yeah, not much to say about him. It's probably gonna, his, his attire is probably gonna be the exact same as 2K15, I reckon. I mean, don't expect much change from the Ultimate War in 2K15 to 2K16, I reckon. But yeah, Ultimate War is in the game. That's a massive confirmation. Awesome. Uh, cause I remember in 2K14, I think he was actually the pre-order bonus. But now we can see we get him in the actual game. Awesome. And last but not least, the 19th superstar confirmed. Zack Ryder, Mr. Long Island, I see himself. Zack Ryder is confirmed for the game. Good, because in 2K15, Zack Ryder wasn't even in the game, which was really odd. I don't know, why wasn't Zack Ryder in the game? That's really stupid. But now we see Zack Ryder is confirmed for 2K16. Awesome. Especially now that in NXT, you know, he's part of the hype bros now. So Zack Ryder is actually a notable addition in 2K16. So awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, those are the 19 uh, people confirmed for WWE 2K16. Tell me, out of the 19 people, which person are you the most happy that uh, are confirmed for the game? I know I'm probably going to say I'm really excited to see Prince Pretty, Tyler Breeze. I'm excited that he's in the game. I love him, and that's really awesome. Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn's render looks so good as well. Pretty much everyone here looks awesome. I'm so excited. So, yeah, tell me in the comments below, actually, which entrance are you the most excited about seeing? Which entrance do you want to see the most? Honestly, I want to see either Tyler Breeze's entrance, because how is it going to work with the selfie stick? And then I also want to see Roman Reigns' entrance, because I want to see him walking down the stairs, because we do know Roman Reigns does walk down the stairs in 2K16. Oh, and guys, I completely forgot. Like, I made this video like five seconds after uh, IGN uploaded this video. So I can, so when I looked at the article, Kevin Owens' entrance wasn't even up yet. But I just saw Kevin Owens' entrance was also announced by IGN, which is awesome. And it confirms a lot of things, like the NXT rival arena, which shows our NXT is going to have multiple arenas. And imagine this. If NXT has multiple arenas, how many arenas are going to be there in general? Like in 2K15, there was only like... 30 entrances uh, arenas but now if NXT has multiple arenas you can bet that like there's going to be pretty much every pay-per-view arena which is awesome uh, and then also Michael Cole is uh, commentating on NXT which is really shitty because I I made it pretty sure that um, Corey Graves and stuff would be commentating on NXT but that's confirmed that's not the case Michael Cole is uh, commentating for NXT which is really shit but yeah, in a few hours, I'm actually going to do a Kevin Owens breakdown uh, entrance. I'm going to confirm, like, I'm going to show all the t-shirts that were in the crowd. That probably confirms heaps of superstars. Look at all the signs. Look at it. Pretty much everything. So yeah, wait for that in a few hours. I'll see you all next time.